still pretty cold out and the fishing season is just around the corner so I uh, thought well I'd prepare one of the things that that, that happens for me is I, I, I go through a lot of worms and I'm tired of digging for worms especially having some worms that uh, I end up don't using or they're in the fridge and and, and I gotta let them go because they're, they're you know they're, they're dying or whatever and I don't have a place to really keep them so uh, I'm gonna make a um, a worm bed so uh, for bait so uh, let me show you what I got going here a little activity you can do during uh, when the weather's bad or when uh, when it's cold out and prepare for your fishing season so here we go pretty simple actually just uh, got a Rubbermaid coat and a drill and I've drilled a lot of holes in the cover of the Rubbermaid and I also drilled some holes in the in one edge here um, I'll put the I'll put the tote on a bit of an angle on a little bit of an angle so if there's too much water gets in here for some reason or another it's, you know you run the risk of drowning or flooding the worms um, there's some drainage there so uh, um, I'm gonna do that I've done a little bit of research uh, I'm gonna line the bed here with um, uh, just a couple of sheets of newspaper on the bottom and uh, I'm using a mixture of uh, topsoil and peat moss inside so I'll show you what that looks like once we get going. I uh, found this at Canadian Tire. I was going to go to a pet store here and pick up some cricket food thinking it might be good for the worms but uh, they actually had worm food right at Canadian Tire. So uh, yeah so this is a great addition so uh, I'll add that for sure. So I found this at Kent. Um, it's all-purpose topsoil and it's a it's a it's a blend of uh, compost, peat moss, and sand. It's like perfect formula for worms. Um, so I, from what I researched, worms do need sand. Um, they have like a, a gizzard, and so they they do require a little bit of sand. Um, they really like peat moss, and of course, I like good old compost. So uh, the other thing too is I'm going to collect rainwater, just so I'm not using chlorinated water from the tap. So. Uh, I don't know whether that makes a difference, but I'm sure the worms will be happier if I were to provide them with uh, fresh rainwater. <laughs> and the trick here is to get the soil moist enough that if you squeeze it, if you squeeze it, the water drips out. You don't want it soaked, but you want it enough that when you squeeze the water, the sand, rather than the, the gravel, that uh, water comes out and uh, that's the trick. From here as I walk the dog I'm gonna collect worms. Mm -hmm. 